So with the recent updates that Etsy came out with, pretty major ones, by the way, one of them, which is confusing a lot of people, is listing your products. The new way that they're having you explain how it was made. Because we all know Etsy started as a complete, completely handmade platform, and now it's evolved. And so because they're now even allowing AI well, there's actually check boxes for all of these different things. So I wanted to have Chris come back on here, slow it down a little bit. So this way here, we can walk through this together. So this way here, you understand what exactly you should be doing. Because if you don't do this, and for some reason it's in the wrong category, there has been people saying that they've been suspended for it. And in some cases they are saying banned. So we don't want that to happen. All right. So with that being said, Chris, can you walk us through exactly what we're supposed to be doing here? And when someone is uh, selling pod, whether they're selling digital products, handmade products, can you walk through these different situations and scenarios? Yeah. So you guys probably know by now that Etsy overhauled pretty much everything in terms of how they categorize products. And previously you just had two categories, at least on the back end, you had handmade and then handmade with production assistance, which is what all print on demand products should have been listed under, but there was never a way to pick from the drop down, And there was a lot of confusion about how to set this up. Etsy tried to make this a little bit easier for people. And in doing so, they got rid of the handmade and handmade with production assistance. And they rolled out a whole new set of categories like made by, designed by, all of those kinds of things, right? There's a bunch of different categories now. And the question, Scott, that you and I get all the time is, how do I pick my category? You don't. Etsy will automatically categorize you based on how you set up your listing. And so if we pull in uh, my screen here really fast, we can see uh, that there is a new listing form. Now, this will look the same for most people. And the first question we have to answer as an Etsy seller is, are we selling something physical or are we selling something digital, right? Are we selling a physical item? Are we selling an avocado mug that someone can buy? Or are we selling an image or some sort of a digital file? Once we've picked that, we'll see different answers start to pop up here at the bottom. If we select digital, we then have to select who made it and give a little bit more information about it. If we select physical, we're gonna do the same thing, but you'll see that the options are slightly different. So if you're selling a digital product, the first thing you're gonna do is say, I made it, a member of my shop made it, or another company or person. And then is it a finished product or a tool? When was it made? And then did you create it yourself or did you use an AI generator? The moral of the story here is we need to answer these questions as honestly as possible. Right? People think that if they mark something as AI, Etsy's going to discount them in search. That's not the case. They also think a lot of Etsy customers would be very sensitive to that. Looking at the 2024 Etsy buyer survey, it's not a huge thing to worry about. If you're using AI to create that digital file, you need to make sure that you're listing that here. When it's made, obviously, it's going to be made to order in this case. If we're selling a physical item, this tends to be where people get caught up. The first question we have to answer here is the same as it always is. And the answer here depends on what you're doing. If you are making something yourself, you are boxing up that finished good or someone in your shop is boxing up that finished good and sending it to the customer. You're handcrafting a necklace. You are screen printing a t-shirt. You're doing something like that in your own shop on your own equipment. Then you're going to select I did if you did or a member of your shop if you have an employee who helps you out. If you are not creating the finished product, if you are selling print on demand, you need to select another company or person. And this has always been the case. And there was a lot of questions about this previously. Misselecting this option previously is what led to a lot of issues with people being banned back last fall with the mock-up apocalypse because it changed how people were shown and what policies they were required to comply with. If you select I or a member of my shop did, that it was previously considered handmade by Etsy and is still considered to be handmade by Etsy and can get you in trouble with their new image policy, which does allow mockups if you're not using a production partner. If you are using a production partner to create that finished product, printify, printful, printful, 
Gelato, any of those print on demand shops, you need to be selecting another company or person. Then obviously we're going to say, what is it right for most people that's going to be a finished product. When was it made? If we're creating something new, we're going to select made to order here. And then we're going to list our production partners. Now, Etsy currently, if you are selecting another company or person, does not give us the additional options that they give us if we select I did or a member of my shop did. And this is what has led to a lot of confusion for people where they're saying, hey, I sell print on demand. Shouldn't I select I did or a member of my shop did? And Etsy tried to clarify that by adding these additional questions so that you know that this is not the correct category for you if you are selling something like print on demand. So now, if you select I did or a member of my shop did, they pop up these additional questions to say, okay, how much of this did you actually make? Did you make it from scratch? So you painted the painting, you created the, the necklace, you crafted the mug, that's made from scratch, right? It's assembled from purchased parts. Okay, so you made it, you're saying you made it. Did you buy some things and, and put them together to create the finished product? If so, then that is assembled from purchased parts, right? We take two things, we make them one, that's the category we're going to select. It's an item my shop alters. If you're doing laser engraving, right? You're buying a bunch of Bubba mugs or Yeti mugs and then you're custom laser engraving them. That would be an item that you alter. The other two categories here don't matter for most people, but if you're falling into their curation category, if you're creating gift baskets or something like that, then yes, you made the finished product, the product that goes to the customer, you're going to select, it's a curated set of purchased goods in that case. Or if you're collecting things like crystals, plants, shells, et cetera, and you're turning around and selling those on Etsy, then you're going to select natural material. If you did not make it by hand, right? You didn't put a few different things together or you didn't physically alter the item. You didn't do the laser engraving then you didn't create it and you should be selecting someone else did. If you are hand making products, you do fall into that category. You're not doing print on demand. Then you're also going to have to answer a few additional questions once you've told them how handmade it is, which is what they're looking for in those radio dials. And they're then gonna ask you, what tools did you use to make it? Is it handheld or handmade? Did you use some computerized tools? Did you use an AI generator to help? Or did you not use any tools and you just totally sculpted it by hand sitting by the riverbank, right? That's then the next thing that we have to fill out. The one important thing that I wanted to point out here is if we're using AI at all, it's required to be disclosed. And if you notice, if we selected, I did someone from my shop or selected a digital product, that there is a checkbox option to say, I used AI. If you are correctly listing this as print on demand, that's not currently an option. And if we read through Etsy's terms of service, what they're saying is if you use AI, it needs to be disclosed on the listing. If you have the checkbox when you're going through and honestly answering these questions, then check that box. If you don't, then make sure you are adding that in the product description if you are using AI. Obviously, if you're not using AI, you wouldn't have to include that. So I want everybody to understand that Etsy tried to make this a little bit easier. And I think people are getting caught up in some of the details. If you're creating the product yourself, then you did. If you designed the product and you are not creating the finished product, you should be selecting another company or person and filling the listing out that way. If you created it or someone in your shop created it, then you just come down here and you tell them how uh, you're producing it, how handmade it is, and then what types of tools you used. And if you answer these questions, Etsy will categorize you correctly on the front end based on their new categories.